Okay, Debbie. You got this. there? Uh, wait. Debbie? Sark? Debbie, are you up? Are you okay? Wait, where the... Um, I, I think I'm okay. I just hit my head, but I'm also feeling like... Uh, like a stitch in my side? It's, um... Uh, it's kind of a long story, Debbie. Okay, where am I? Oh, you're you're in the the Wabanaki village. And uh yeah, how did I get here? Uh I had to come and get you. I had to bring you here. Wait, you got through Agartha? That's also a long story. I can, I can tell you about it later. Okay. Are are you feeling okay? Yeah. I, I think so, yeah. I think I'm okay, but... Okay, what happened to me? Wait, why am I naked? Uh, um, well, um, you had a fever, and then had to... Uh, stuff. Okay, I got it. I got it, got it. You stuffed ice down my shirt, and I had... And then everything was wet, and I figured it broke. You didn't want me to you know, get hypothermia. Am I on the right path? Yep. I was a medic. I understand. Okay, good. Oh, God. How high was my temperature? Well, the thermometer said E. Holy shit. Yeah. My brains were cooking. Yeah. So I got a thermometer off the butt, too. I was not going to say that, but yes. Well, you know, better that than, you know, dying. But, so... Wait, how did I... How much do you remember about what happened? Okay, I remember that I was getting the samples from... And then I uploaded them on the computer, and then I... Uh... Yeah. I remember... I think the shower triggered me, and... Ah, oh, boy. Did I actually say all the things that I think I said? You did. It kind of looked like you were having a nervous breakdown or something. Yeah, and then it started hurting, like, physical pain in my, in my stomach. And, like, what? Oh, God, if I said all that, then... I honestly wouldn't have blamed you if you'd left me there. I almost did. Asshole! Well, you just said... <sighs> you weren't supposed to agree with me! Well, you... Don't say things if you don't want people to agree with them. <sighs> How did you fix me? Well, there was some kind of weird thing in, in your stomach. I had to take you down to see old Joe, and he brought he brought a me up. And... I, I don't know what it was. It was like some kind of, I don't know, invisible, magical... Staple. It was a staple. What? Look, I've had, I've had people look at my soul recently, and they said, my soul is not in good shape. And there was a thing in my stomach that, last time I talked about this stuff, almost killed me. And... Um, you said it was like something that had got in there and got infected. The best I can figure is that the dark magic I used sort of kept me together for a while. But then once I... I guess I was healing, but you know, leave the stitches in too long. Mm -hmm. And it can make the infection worse. Sorry you saw that side of me. 
it was it was kind of hard to hear especially near the end Ma but imagine how hard it is to live that yeah yeah that's I don't know if that's always been a part of me but it is a part of me and I hope and it's something that really has tore me up inside for a while because you're not supposed to enjoy things like that it was it was frightening yeah I, I've been scared of myself for a very long time. I hated myself. But I've never been able to talk talk with somebody about it like this before. I mean, Ami said that, you know, when we got that thing out, it started to heal. I mean, maybe this is part of that, you know? Like, being able to talk about it. Healing would be nice. Yeah. Um, again, I'm... Thank you. <sighs> You're gonna kill me when, I, when I say this, but I had to do it because you're my soulmate. What the fuck? I know, that's what I said. I'm your... S no, I'm sorry, but I'm gay. I'm... I'm aware of that. I'm not... I don't... It, <laughs> it's not like that. It's because of, you know, the twin bullshit thing that we have going on. Ah, uh, mystical twin bullshit. Yeah, right. yeah. I think it's... We kind of just... I don't know, we got linked. You know, for all the bullshit, we actually do kind of work well together. I know, I, I, I can't believe it, but somehow we actually make a good team. So, yeah. Listen, Debbie. Look, it's probably a drop in the bucket, but back when you told me about it, I... I did not make things better. I yeah. I got upset. I said some things I shouldn't have. And I should have realized how much this was this was affecting you. It's kind of hard for me to hold that against you considering I both said and did things I shouldn't have. Yeah, well, look, we've both done that. Yeah. So wait, how did you get here? Oh, I got magic. No shit. Yeah. You're shitting me. No. Check this shit out. Okay, so you study the blade. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Okay, that's new. Yeah, I know. It's fucking force lightning. Wow, okay, and uh, so let's go. Oh, oh hold oh, on a whoa, second. Oh, Debbie, close. Yeah, can you uh, get me something to wear? I'm yep. going to assume my clothes are a riot, my other clothes are a write off. Yeah, they're. We tried to burn them, but the fire wouldn't even touch them. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, that's what happened to my Orochi outfit. Yeah. Eventually, you can set it on fire, but, um,. Didn't the flames burn blue and they don't really stop? And, like, they burn through the pavement down into the labyrinth? And Ooh. That's not good. That, that was me. Yeah, that was me. Ooh, they have invaders here. Huh. Uh -huh. Oh, cool. Uh, guess this is a gift store. Why are there no souvenir t-shirts? Okay, here, I found some stuff. Great, thank you. Tossing it over without looking. Is 
Seriously? Look, this is a gift shop. This is that's all they had. I think it might be like a mascot costume or something. What? Wait, why are you wearing that the I don't know the mistletoe thing in your hair? Because it came with the outfit, and I can't seem to find my bandana. And you know, I don't. Let, you know what? Let's just. You look like the new Jane Foster Thor. Okay, I'm taking off a headband. It actually did look kind of good, but... The rest of it, well, we can deal with later. So you have magic, huh? Yeah, apparently. Okay, I gotta see this. Alright. Well... Oh, wait a minute. I never actually sent this message. Good work. I have forwarded your findings to our white coats. There are a bunch of pizza infant... Pizza in the blender types, but I would take any one of them over the entire CDC. Early observations suggest that the filth primarily targets the pon- pontine tiger- tig- tigmentum? Don't ask me, I'm usually able to read these. The pontine tegmentum? The, I don't know, the... Poutine Tesserectia. You know all about poutine, don't you? That is racist, but true. Are Canadians a race? I don't know. I don't think so. Or does Greek overrule that? I think Greek overrules that. Yeah, there is a strict hierarchy there. We'll throw more rats in the cage and keep... So if you have a good pont... Teen Tegmentum cap. Well, wear it. The thermal rats in the cage to keep you updated on the results. Let me look that up. Actually, I want, I want to look that up. Hold on a second. I guess I should use my phone to actually yeah. look this stuff up sometimes. Yeah, since I'm... I don't even know if I'm getting service out here. It is the past. Pong team. Tegmentum. Oh, God, this tiny print. Come on, go to mobile mode. Look, you're in Narnia time. That's the best you can get. Pontine Tegmentum apparently is part of the brainstem. Huh, that's what filth targets. That's interesting. Is that what my bee is? Could be. I mean, do you think think that means so that, like... Tinfoil hats might actually protect you? Maybe. And what in God's name are you wearing? What? This is just. It's the same clothes I had when we met. I've just got some stuff for action. A headset. Who is your headset connected to? Skype. Right. Wait, who are you talking to on Skype? Well, it was you, and then I kind of forgot to take it off. Oh. Is that sword stainless steel? Yeah, uh, I bought that in the mall when I was in my bleach phase. Wow, I think you'd actually be better off with a wooden sword. Look, it's better than nothing. No, actually, I think it's definitely worse than nothing. You've seen the video of the guy breaking the sword. Well, look, it's... On, like, QVC. It's, it's been surprisingly effective. I've been, like, cutting through zombies with it like nothing. Well, okay, I guess Anima does amazing things. Oh, my agent actually took care of the treasure fleet. Wow. Also, when I was on the way here, I picked up this hat. What hat? Oh, dear lord. It's got fishing tackles on it. It has fishing tackles on it. Yeah. What, you didn't have a... You didn't have a... Sippy hat? I couldn't make that fit with the headset. Fair enough. Oh, yeah, my... This is my agent... Took care of the treasure fleet while I was gone. She must have been waiting for a while. Uh, yeah, I mean, Narnia time is involved. Are you really just jumping right back into your faction recruits? I mean... I don't know, I feel ready to go. You sure? You you just kind of pulled something out of your soul. You don't don't need, like, some chicken soup? I hear chicken soup is good for that. (laughs) Ha ha ha. No, I think some I think some shots would be good for it right now. 
But yeah, okay, let's actually go see what you can do. All right. Can you teleport? I think so. Let's try it. Let's go over to the um, moon bug. I remember something there I hadn't done yet. All right, cool. I'll be with you. Hang on, I just picked... I picked up something else before we go. I want you to see it. Are you cosplaying? This is battle suit. You're cosplaying. I am cosplaying. <laughs> I like it. It is very much not my color, but thank you. <laughs> See, I'm not critical all the time. No comment. I don't even remember ordering this, honestly. It just kind of showed up, like, at, at my apartment one day. I think I might have been huh. drunk. Yeah, I remember this. I should have, you know, done something about it, but I had other stuff in my mind. Let's look at this notebook here. Yes, close, close to ceramic. Equals C. Knives in my back, dignity resonator. Equals R. C plus R in the electric box. Yes, close. The door of the academy in my face. So close. To nearby melody in the next orchestra transmitter. Equals T. My infinity not equal Illuminati service module. Equals M. T plus M in the music mansion. C plus R plus T plus M. Equals remote golem orchestra, and I will get my tenure yet. Wow, that's crazy. Oh my god, Debbie, it's got it's got a a thing spray painted on it here. It says its name is Detritus Prime. Wow. I'd see it called like a YouTube reviewer who only criticizes Transformers media. Yeah. <laughs> Quick access inventory updated. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, Dan got it on me. Ooh. Oh, I think I got some on me too. Oh, so Don't worry, if you're like me, the anima will just burn it off in just a few seconds. Well along with along with the layer of your skin. It it's burning in unpleasant places. You get used to it. I don't think I will. So help me find the other parts to this thing. I'm looking for a ceramic resonator and a transmitter module. Okay, so I think the... What the hell? Okay, kill that ghost. It's not just a filth sewer, it's also haunted. That's good to know. UNLIMITED POWER! I'm stuck in one place. They do that. Jilted Bride. I wonder who that was. Okay, kill this thing. I ran into a few of these things trying to get you. They are... I see why you hate them so much. They suck. They do. And also, fuck the Akab. Fuck the Akab. Cool. Uh, this is Fall Lamppost has a ceramic resonator. Alright, sure. And transmitter module. I've learned not to question the logic of this crazy world you dragged me into. Wait. Off. Oh, ghost. Again, okay, I'm taking care of this one. Piss off, ghost! Alright. Okay, so how do I do this? I mean, it's all both technical and insane, so I have no idea. There we go. Put it back, to, put it together, and uh, let's see. I'm gonna activate the golem. Oh my god, we have a robot friend. Yes, 
And you need to follow our robot friend. I'm enjoying watching you fight for once. This is what it's like. Oh, dear. I never believed in karma until now. Don't worry. I'll jump in if you start having too much trouble. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. I still have no idea what I'm doing. Ah! These things. Oh, he's fighting with you. That's cool. No, I think it went first and then that thing pulled me in. Oh god, oh god, it's in it's in my pants. That makes one thing. Uh I am not gonna dignify that. Yeah, okay, that was terrible. Yeah, I mean, I, it would have been good if it was a good in your pants, Joe. Does, does that remote have a fast forward button? I don't think so. I just kind of turned it on, and it just it's just going. I don't think it has any more controls. That is a terrible remote control, then. Just has an on button. Seriously. Why not just build the on button on the robot if that's all you want? I don't know. I'm not a crazy person who made this. I was I was being rhetorical. Let me know if you need me to jump in. I think I'm actually doing okay. Oh. Um Oh shit. I think the golem is gone rogue. I I pushed the button, I can it is not accepting input anymore. The robot has turned evil. Most uncool. Oh my god, what's that from? It's, uh, it's from Futurama. Looks like this would-be Galimetry professor was a few fuses short of a stable teaching gig. Need needless to say, we won't be depending on golems anytime soon. There's been no shortage of Innsmouth Academy washouts on Solomon Island. Judging by this guy's level of incompetence, he wasn't one of ours. Fun fact. <laughs> Okay, gee. Fun fact, Innsmouth Academy opened its doors to non-Illuminati faculty in 1909. Since then, rogue golem incidents have shot up 30... You know, you can use statistics to say anything. 40% of everybody knows that. Yeah. 